Welcome back everybody into TextPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change a text color of, of any section into the Shopify store into 2024. Now they have a new boson of Shopify. The process is actually really, really simple. We don't even have to edit the code anymore. So how we can do this in a very easy, easy way. First of all, guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free into Shopify. And now that we are here into the Shopify, now that you claimed your store, what you want to do is to focus into the store you want to edit. Let's go into online store and let's go into themes. Inside themes, what you want to do is to look out for the current theme you're actually getting started with. Once again, I can strongly recommend you guys that if you wanted to make changes into a store and you're not sure if you're okay with the changes, you go for the three dots and duplicate your store so you have another version of that store and you can just customize this store just in case you want to undo anything well you have a backup section into this store so guys now that we are here inside this element of this in this case my website i'm going to go here into for example my ebook section and let's say for example here what i want to do is to change the colors of this section so how can i edit the section how can i edit the coding so there's two things that we are going to be using today first of all i'm going to go into pastebin.com inside pastebin you can find a lot of tools a lot of coding absolutely anything for your store and the best part is that this is actually totally for free you can just either type for example shopify uh coding for i don't know maybe like a header text uh shorter higher whatever and you have an actual source of the coding and what you just need to do is to copy the pastes, copy all of this stuff and paste it into your store. So today what I'm going to be doing here is to actually use a actual changing of text of any section. Now, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't want to copy and paste it. But as you can see, it actually looks really, really simple. You just need to go for this coding. So what you want to do is to copy this coding. I'm going to go here into the editor of my store where we're actually currently at. And let's say, for example, here that I wanted to edit in a specific section. For example, let's say only here. Now here, what I want to do is to focus into the right part. And as you should see, we have the custom C double S. I click into the C double S and I go for here and I paste the coding. Automatically, the count is going to be giving you a actual new fund color into my store. Now, if I want to change for in a specific color, what I wanted to do is to copy whatever color section, for example, let's say this one, I go into Google and I paste this code into the search bar. It's gonna be giving us a color picker. So what I want to do is to look out for in a specific color that I want to add into my store. Let's say in this case, for example, something more pinky. So I have now this coding and I copy it. What is left for me to be done is to go back into the editor and here I want to replace my new element. So I delete this and I go back here and I do exactly the same thing with the other text color. And there we go. As you should see now, my actual store has this new element into my website. Another solution that I can give you if you wanted to edit the whole text, the whole website, the whole online store, just go directly into the theme settings. And here you see that we have different colors. And here we have the schemes. The schemes is going to be editing the different sections of your store. And well, that would be actually all the elements that you needed to be editing today. Hit now into saved before publishing, hit into published. And now what I wanted to do is to reload my page to see how it actually looks my store. And there you have it, a really great element now edited just only in a specific site. It's not uh, editing any part, but rather only this section of my store, guys. So if you find this tutorial helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify Insight, hit the notification bell to stay into the loop. Once again, you have the link down below in the description so we can get started into Shopify totally for free today. And as well, I'm going to be leaving you the link down below of this actual coding, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time. And well, guys, see you customizing your Shopify storefront with a vibrant text colors. See you soon.